Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to another one of my reviews. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, the G.I. Joe Francis J. Pierce Medal of Honor recipient action figure. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, let me show you the box. Really nice box. Uh, I love how they put the uh, Medal of Honor badge here on the front. That's pretty cool. Look here, we have Pharmacist Mate First Class U.S. Navy Francis J. Pierce. That's really nice. Okay, up top we have the equipment list. Comes with a ton of equipment, mostly a medical stuff on the side. Got a G.I. Joe logo. And on this side, just some more artwork. And uh, the back is really cool. We got this nice description here of uh, Francis Pierce, what he did to earn his Medal of Honor, and uh, some really nice artwork. And uh, this G.I. Joe came out around 2003, and he's uh, part of the Liberators collection. I forgot to mention that. Even though he's not really, uh, they don't actually have the symbol there on the box, he is part of the Liberators collection. Alright, let's get started by looking at the the actual figure. Um, this guy is really cool. He was really hard to get. I got him, um, I guess, two years ago off eBay for maybe like 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, he's very rare, very hard to find, and normally pretty pricey. So, uh, but he's definitely worth it. He's really cool. Here he is. Um, you know, it's a simplistic outfit, but a uh, really cool figure. That gun is really cool, the Thompson. I love Tommy guns. Let me go ahead and put that in his hand. Let you get a look at um, how it fits in his hand. Uh, it looks really good. Like I said, I love Thompsons. They're really nice. One of my favorite World War II guns. Okay. So there he is, all geared up. Uh, first, let me show you his uh, major accessories. This is really cool here. We have a stretcher. And this thing does fold. You can uh, move these notches out to make it a nice stretcher there. It's really cool. You can put other figures on it. It's long enough so that you can do that. Um, it's a nice cloth material. It's really cool. And it does bend. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let me get, go ahead and just show you all the little things he comes with first. Uh, we got a ton of like just medical equipment. Uh, not sure what all this stuff is, but just little boxes of cloth and medicine of that kind of sort. Got some more boxes. Uh, he does come with a knife. I mean, uh, scissors rather. Sorry <laughs> for uh, dissecting or whatever. And uh, I forget what these things are called, but that's pretty cool. This is added. Got, I'm guessing some sort of fluid in there that gets put into the body, something like that. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know what all this stuff is, but it's cool. It's neat that that was added. A lot of detail. Um, all right, let's get on with the rest of the figure. Let me go ahead and show you the Thompson. Uh, it's a really cool gun. You don't see this gun a lot. In fact, I've only seen it twice. At least I only have two figures that have it. Um, obviously, Francis Pierce and then the uh, Point Du Hawk uh, D-Day Collection G.I. Joe, who also comes with one of these. We have a nice, firm elastic here, so we can strap it over his back. <clears throat> and uh, the magazine does come out. Um, yeah, just a really nice gun. They did a really nice job with it. Looks really good. Okay. Next, uh, there's his helmet. I'll take that off. It's a really cool helmet. It's got nice uh, camo on it. Jungle camo or whatever. Looks really nice. And uh, these are really cool. These Dr. Uh, uh, man, I forget what that's called. 
Hold on. Stethoscope, I believe that's what it's called. I think. I forget what it's called. Can't believe I forgot what it's called, but whatever. I think it's a steth stethoscope or whatever. Anyway, uh, it's pretty cool. So there's that. Uh, let's take a look at his uh, the head sculpt here. It's a really cool head sculpt. Obviously one of a kind. Obviously. Nice detailing. Um, and it looks like him. Um, it's kind of hard to tell on the box. You know, it's hard to get a good look at him. And actually, before I bought this figure, I knew nothing about Francis Pierce. So I did some research on him, and I found some pictures of him. And uh, they did a good job of making the figure uh, look like the man. So he's really nice. Really cool head sculpt. Alright, uh, let me take this medical bag off. Because, uh, of course, there's some more stuff, which I stuffed in here. I got a ton of stuff in here. Look at all this stuff. All this uh, salve and... And I don't even know what all this stuff is, but just a whole bunch of dissecting stuff and yeah, loads of stuff here. Really cool that they added to all this, so you can really do some serious, um, serious uh, posing and all that. Got this like, yeah, this is actually shaving cream. That's not medicine. It's pretty cool that that's added. Okay, so obviously a lot of little uh, accessories, which are really nice. Um, he does have a little tactical belt here, which um, we have a knife with its scabbard. Cool looking knife here. Pretty cool, fits nicely in his hand. You can grip it well love the scabbard too. I like how it's hard. A lot of them are soft and squishy and they're kind of a pain to it's kind of a pain to put the knife in, but this one just slips in and out. I like that. Um here's a canteen. Cool canteen, but uh my one complaint is that it's really difficult to latch these things on. At first it wasn't, but over time they just refuse to snap on. It's it's a royal pain. But oh well. Uh here's his canteen. This can be taken off. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, here's his basic uniform. United States Marine Corps uh, symbol there. Just a green, green uniform. I like his boots here. I will take those off. Show you his boots. Because those are really nice. I've never seen a G.I. Joe with these kind of boots before. Really cool. Nice detailing. They look muddy. It's very nice. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just, as always, let you know that he does come with a dog tag. Alright guys, that is Francis J. Pierce. A really cool G.I. Joe figure. And uh, I recommend doing some research, research on the guy. And it's pretty amazing what he did. Uh, one last thing I'd like to mention is uh, all the Liberators come with a poster since they're part of a collection. And uh, I'll just briefly show you that because it's worth mentioning. I have one of these hung up on my wall just because it's really cool. I like the look of it. Looks very, uh, um, 1940-ish, I guess. I got MacArthur down there. I already showed you him. He's really cool. Got the Willys Jeep vehicle. I do not have that. Pacific Marine up top. I, sh I already reviewed him. He's really nice. There's Francis Pierce in the middle. Um, there's Devil's Brigade on the far left side. Really nice one as well. I did a review of him. And one of my favorites, the Normandy Pathfinder. Very nice one. So, uh, yeah. There you go. I've reviewed pretty much all the guys on in the Liberated collection except for the Willys Jeep but uh, all of the figures I've done and own in my collection and they are it's probably one of my favorite collections that Hasbro put out of the G.I. Joe's they're just really nice great detailing and yeah I love the World War II figures here's the back this is really nice you can hang this up on your wall 
which is Francis Pierce. Got a background and everything colored in. It's really nice. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, if you can find this guy on eBay or Amazon, uh, I recommend getting him. He is totally awesome and totally worth it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. See ya.